Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on, Flight here? Welcome back to the channel. Holy crap. So when I was buying this stuff with GE just to get it ready for this dev video, it really hit me, dude. I am so excited to play with these new anti-air vehicles, and that is what we're going to do today. We're going to be checking out the M163, the Gepard, or the Gepard, hopefully I pronounced that right, uh, and then the Shilka, all right? So we're going to go one, two, three, cover it all in this video. In the comments below, let me know what you guys want to see next. I have a few ideas, but it'd be it'd be easier if uh, you guys tailor it for yourself. Just so if you want to see something, let me know. All right, so the M163, I, I keep thinking I'm saying ME163, but no, M163. So let's go and check the modifications out. This thing should have AP shells, and there we go. 40 millimeters of effective thickness. So... Um, it won't really do good, a good job really against anything. Um, it might be able to kill a ZSU-57 from the front. I'm not going to go from uh, to the Russians because I have the Shilka loaded up. We're going to you know hang out in some suspense for a little bit. Uh, but like the ZSU-57 top of the uh, tank where the gun is. Uh, but strictly, <laughs> just kind of farted there with my mouth. Strictly, it looks like an anti-air vehicle. So let's go ahead and take it out into a test drive. I just want to kind of upgrade a few things. I got to watch my GE on the server because it might go down and all the Russians are sleeping. Let's just kind of get some of the um, ammo, brake system, suspension. Okay, HEI, API. And I think that's good enough. I just got to be conservative with these so I don't run out. All right, let's take it out in test drive and see what this thing is about. I really want to test out if it can penetrate certain um, tanks at its tier. 40 millimeters, it doesn't seem like it would, but holy crap. You guys ready for a fire? I'll be quiet here. We're going to aim it up in this guy. Look at that turret. Oh my god, look at that turret rotation. That is insanity. Wow. All right, here we go, guys. That is fucking awesome. I don't care what anybody says. All right, let's go kill some a Panzer twos. <laughs> I love the spool time. Holy cow. Look at all, it, it really tracks all the penetrations at once. Usually when you kill something, it will only track that one shell um, that put the last nail in the coffin. That's a pretty cool addition. Now let's go ahead and see what the reload time looks like. Oh, this is a tree buzzer. Look at this. We got a tank way out there. Now let's just kind of simulate um, a plane that would fly above us here. I wish we could test out against some planes. Uh, but I think I'll save that for a different dev video just when I get all these things into a custom battle. Look at that. Reload's pretty... It's not It's not that long for a thousand rounds. Okay. The Panther. Fucking gorgeous, dude. I never thought that these would ever be added into War Thunder. Alright, fire one. Let's just see what it looks like up close against this Panther. So this is this tank's kind of confirmed for just anti-air only, which is very balanced. Now, can we see the shells moving over here? No, I, the War Thunder really doesn't model that too well. Okay, here we go. Let's just see what this thing looks like up close. Oh my god, just disgusting. Just knocking off all the shirt skin and side armor. Look at... Let's see if we do some trap shots here, maybe. No, look at them. They're all bouncing in. Hang on. Right there. I think a little bit higher we had it. <laughs> look at that. That's fucking awesome. Let's go for the Coppola, maybe. Nope. We, no, we, we, we have 100 rounds left. We have a Panzer two over here. Let's see if we can't get him. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We just destroyed him. But we're out of ammo. So this is the M163 anti-air for the American army, the American tanks. Just fucking beautiful. Now, where, did, where does it keep all its ammo at? I think those big things right there 
maybe no that looks like fuel i don't know. we'll go back to the hangar and check it out real quick so next up is the gepard and we'll see how that uh one stands up actually i think i want to take the shilka out first i want to save the gepard for the the last one armor really none <laughs> Ooh. oh wait this is aluminum though so not the best okay here's the radiator there's all the ammo down there <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. In here. Oh, so we have the fuel tank. We have more ammo and more ammo right there. All right, so let's go on to the Russian Shilka. And here's... Where did, where, where did I put her? I didn't put her in yet, it looks like. Okay, here we go. Putting the Shilka in the ZSU-23-4. Okay, here we go. Oh, my God. It looks alien. This thing should have never existed. All right, armor on this thing, non-existent, though that would stop some 50 cals. That won't stop 50 cals. Side armor, okay, let's just check 50 cals real quick. Um, let's go on the M18, because that will have it. Yeah, you, you can kill this AA with uh, 50 cals if you're close enough. Okay, um, what else do you want to look at it? X-ray. This is where all the ammo is. So if you just shoot like the sides a little bit, it should blow up. Big fuel tank in front. A very, very explosive tank. Now let's look at some modifications. Um, 23 millimeters default. Ooh, that's getting kind of scary. No, no, no. That, that should be its max though. Yeah, okay, good. So we have two balance um, uh, anti-airs in the game. However, with that 46 millimeter pen, it will be able to kill a leopard from the side, just like the M163. If it's close enough, that's 40 mil. This is 46, a little bit more penetration. But this thing's going to be really easy to kill from the front. If you just shoot the cheeks right here, look at that, man. I mean, like you're pretty. Actually, maybe if you shoot a little bit more off to the right, like right about to the right of this, I guess rope hatch, if you want to call it that, where, where you would tie rope on. At least that's what it looks like on the docks by the beach. Um, you'll just destroy the ammo but all right let's go ahead and test this things out see how she performs and then next up is the guepard <laughs> yes dude beautiful okay turret rotation is very very efficient look at that all right here we go for a fire it looks fucking alien boys okay fire one No spool time at all, just pure devastation. Now, someone on Reddit today was like, do you have to unlock the fire extinguisher on the Shilka? Because it already comes with one, if you see it right here. I wonder if they had this right outside the tank in case the gun's caught on fire or something like that. All right, let's see how it does against a Panzer II. Oh my god, destruction. Now, what other anti-airs could this thing kill? I mean, it, it can kill Kugel Blitzes from the side. Maybe, I don't think from the front though. Maybe luckily through the driver port or something. Uh, Ostvins, Wurblewinds, all dead. Um, Falcons, I don't know. We'll have to check a Falcon, but I think its armor is pretty thin as well. But a very good anti air killer. However, this tank, or this anti air, is really not that fast. As you see, it's having some trouble getting over just flat terrain here. Fire one. Yes, he has some trouble killing it, but it, it, does, it does die. And it won't be able to pen this from the side. Oh, just look at that. I cannot wait to take these things in some custom battles. I can't do it right now because there's really no one on the server. I have to wait till later. So I might make a video of just taking these three out in a custom battle for you guys to show what it does to enemy aircraft. This is just a demonstration of what we have right now in the game. Just beautiful. Almost out of ammo. 800, 600 rounds left. 400. That is just gorgeous. No barrel overheat though. Out of ammo. All right, back to hangar. One thing left though, we have that radar dish right there. However, War Thunder has said that we're not going to be able to use radar guided guns in game. I wouldn't, you know, I think it'd be a cool idea. You know, if a plane gets inside of, you know, 0.8 kilometers or something, you'll have like an aiming reticle for it. I don't know, man. It has radar. Why not, you know, use it? Okay, um, but that's 
for a big discussion as well. All right, so the final SPAA we're about to get in game is the Gepard. Here it is. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Oh my god, this is the one I'm most excited about. Holy shit, what a fool. What an alien looking tank. We got some radar right here. We got a radar dish up there. Um, let me just go ahead and upgrade some things real quick for it. Oh my Lanta. Now, again, guys, the first tank we used was 20 millimeters for its gun. The next was uh, 23 millimeters. And this is a 35 millimeter auto cannon. Okay, so let's go with the first round. 68 millimeters of pen. Okay, not bad, not bad. 68 millimeters of pen. Now, what's the last round? Hang on, we got to upgrade a little bit more here. 112? That is really underwhelming. How, how does a fucking Kugelblitz have 95? Holy shit. So only 112. I thought this thing would push out. Hmm. I mean, that, that's not that impressive for 35 mils. These things shoot really. I, I was hoping for like maybe like 130, 140 millimeters of pen. But yeah, so um, good pen, but not as good as I thought it would be. The ZSU-57 still holds that true at 142 millimeters with dual 57 mils. This one has a dual 35. Let's check its armor out. Pretty nice front armor. Yeah, this looks. This armor looks super trolly. This is going to bounce a lot of high caliber shells until that uh, one update's coming out. I don't know what, what it's really called. Um, lower glaze is decent. Um, damn. I thought it would be a much, much bigger. Much, much bigger pen. But all right, let's go ahead and test this thing out. See how she works. Look at that turret rotation. Now, I hope they have an ejection system for the shells. However, there's no ejection system for any tanks that should have an ejection system in the game, so I doubt that. Oh, my God. Oh, look at, look at this. Look at the guns. How, how, how high can we go with these things? Oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, let's go with some test firing here. I'll be quiet for this. Put the, the hut off. There we go. Fire one. That is lovely. Beautiful. Now I think right here, see that little rectangle? The trapezoid? Kind of looking, I think that's where the shells would were to eject if they had that model. Okay, we got 525 rounds. Now these are just a 68 millimeter penetration rounds. Russian T26 takes much longer, comrade, than uh, Panzer II. Okay, T34. Beautiful. I love that new model of how they um, can see all the shells hitting it. Now this we can't kill from the side. No, we can't. Not at all. Let's go back. Let's uh, return to the hangar and get the uh, top tier shells for it. See how, if we can't kill these things from the side. Because we should be able to with 112 millimeters of penetration. Yeah. That is just that just sucks. Maybe it, maybe it just had too high expectations with this thing. Okay, this is the top tier. Okay, there we go. And with 35 millimeter rounds, we don't have that much ammo of the... M163 or the Shilka, but, but we also do fire a little bit slower. Okay, Tango down. Now this is on a Leo chassis, so we should be able to get up some pretty nice speeds. However, we're not. But this is this is not on proper ground or like concrete. Okay. Zoom. Zoom. Die, bitch. Okay, T-44 next. Just look at this. These things are going to be crazy to use in, in top tier matches. It might force a lot of players to uh, not play slow planes anymore. 
No Doe 21702. They might really have to start using the Arado C3s, B2s, and the IL-28s just so it makes it a little bit harder for the AA to kill it. Now we have a T-34 way over here. Destruction. All right, T-44, kind of the same side armor as a T-54. I'll tell you something about um, the tracks on the side of a T-44 and the T-54. They fucking block so many shells of mine. Yeah, these should easily go through. See how, see how difficult it is? It's like, it's like the, sh the, uh, the tracks have a huge um, hitbox. Okay, that was really easy. <laughs> Get a little bit closer and it works out. All right, KV-2 over here. Die. Oh my god, he's still alive. How the fuck is this thing still alive? There we go. And then we have an IS-4 over here that I don't think we're going to be able to kill from any angle. Might be able to get his rear, but that's about it. Yeah, nothing from the rear. Don't even think about it. I, I would say if we had a little bit more penetration... No, I'm just kidding. We need a lot more penetration for this big dog. Took out some of the tracks, some of the side armor, but that's about it. All right, so let's return to hangar. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this preview of the new anti-air into War Thunder. As you can see in the top left, we do have a little bit more players online, and we should have some custom battles. Yes, all right. So we'll be making a anti-air custom battle video for you after this one. But in the comments below, let me know what new vehicle you would like to see. All right, guys. Peace out. Have a great day.